And the problem is, so many of our prayers are way too small. And God's like, that doesn't even take me. You can do that on your own. I want you to pray for stuff that you can't do on your own. So one hindrance is our prayers are too small. Number two, our prayers are too vague. Okay? Now, Dr. David Yonke Cho, who, remember that little small church over in Korea of a million people? Here's what he said. Listen to this. He said, God does not answer vague prayers. Wow. I mean, this is, you guys, this is kicking my tail as I'm studying this whole issue of prayer. I have a confession to make. I am not good at prayer. I want to get better at it. And I've prayed amazing prayers. And I've seen God do amazing things in my life. I've seen, seen God save me numerous times from being held up, from being at gunpoint. I pray, you know, you don't have to, you, you know, you don't have to worry about a specific prayer when you're at gunpoint. It's like, Lord, do not let that bullet hit me. <laughs> don't let that gun go off. I mean, it's very easy to be specific. It's God, save me today. Let me live to see tomorrow. But too often, when it's not a desperate time like that, we keep our prayers vague for stuff that they could really accomplish on their own in the course of the day. God, let me get to work on time. I don't know if that's really a prayer. Unless you're driving through LA traffic, then it is a warfare, yes, absolutely. But generally speaking, I think I'm going to make an exception for you LA residents here, okay? Yes. But I'm just saying, God, help me get through this day. Really? God, let me just not be too discouraged today. Now, I want you to know hope is good, but there's a big difference between hope and prayer.